I got to go here with this for a second because I do believe that it's very important, right? It's very important for me to acknowledge and highlight this. A lot of us women, females, I should say, okay? Got to make the distinction. A lot of us females will complain. We'll say there's no good men. We'll say men don't believe in marriage or relationships anymore and families and building and being productive and being masculine and taking care of women and taking care of their households. Like we'll, we'll say all these things with our chest and the whole time it was us making decisions, poor choices and passing up those type of men. That's what really pisses me off. And a lot of us refuse to acknowledge that. We'll all day, every day, circle around, come together in groups, in droves, complaining about how men don't step up, black men in particular. They don't step up, they don't do anything. They don't love us, they don't take care of us. They're not about anything. All, are, all they are good for is hitting and quitting and, you know, making babies and leaving. We'll, we'll swear up and down. And the whole time, each and every last single one of us could have been approached by a man. Emphasis on man that was ready and willing to give us the world, to take care of us love us, respect us, honor us, all of that. We were approached by these masculine, productive men. And we didn't want them for whatever dumbass reason. And instead of being honest enough with ourselves and each other to say, yeah, I, I, I actually was presented with that type. I actually did have the opportunity, maybe even multiple times. We'll just pretend like those men never existed. We'll even pretend like those men still don't exist, and they do. We see women all over the world, especially now, with these damn passport brothers and shit. We see these women all over the world getting that very type of man that we claim does not exist. And lo and behold, they do. And perhaps that's why we're so upset. Perhaps that's why we're so mad and angry is because we see that these men do exist and these men don't hate black women and these men are ready and willing to do X, Y, and Z. And it's like, damn, well, why not for me? And that is a rude awakening. That is a rude reality check for our asses because we see that these men are about their business. They, they mean right by us. They want to do right by us. It's just a lot of us are not right for them. And instead of acknowledging that, once again, we would just sit around complaining that they don't exist and we see that they do. And what makes it even worse, right? What is even more treacherous, okay, is the fact that even when we do see these men live in the flesh doing a lot of the things that we would want a man to do, with the next woman, we didn't see them doing those things. We'll even classify him as, oh no, he's not real though. You know, he he's probably dogging her out and he's probably cheating on her and he's probably, you know, a dictator and he's probably abusive. And like we, we will create whole scenarios lying on that man. Don't know shit about that man in his life. But because we're bitter and angry for whatever reason that we don't have him, we have got to even demonize the quote unquote good ones. All because we refuse to accept that maybe just maybe those men do exist. 
but just not for us.